So are we just done with this 3D nonsense and being stuck and just in a place that isn't connecting with the souls that we are? I know a lot of people I'm speaking with them, they're talking about the fact that, you know, they're stuck at home, they're not connecting with their soul tribe, they're trying to figure out what to do, the, you know, this whole idea of furloughs and just, it's just crazy. I get it. I know what it looks like out there. So how do we get rid of this 3D process or how do we remove ourselves from it, even if temporarily, and find some 5D vibrational relief, right? So a lot of people are home. My life hasn't changed too much because I'm home all the time, but I'm, <laughs> as, as I've created the business to run from home, but I'm home and, um, and from home, I'm able to take some time to, to meditate and really connect with myself and my tribe. So how are you showing up for yourself at home? What are you doing? What's the 5D relief that you can do for yourself? A lot of people are at home with family that they're not usually home with. Sometimes you now you're home with a bunch of kids all day that you weren't used to being home with. There's a lot of things that are showing up in our lives that are creating contrast, right? The contrast that's showing up is actually there for us to heal. So I believe a huge part of what's happening right now is the healing process for everybody and particularly for spiritual entrepreneurs, right? Because we have awakened, we're on our path, we're feeling into what's happening. We're looking at the world, the 3D world and trying to figure out what's going on and how it's going to impact us vibrationally. And so as that's happening and we're home and we've got family around us and kids around us, spouses, a lot of times people aren't seeing their spouses more than an hour a day and now you guys are home together all day long. So what's coming up that needs to be healed? What is that healing that needs to happen? Because the only reason why there's the contrast is because there is a healing that needs to occur. So what is that and what are you going to do to work through that to be able to create a 5D vibration so that you can manage this 3D issue and still remain at your highest vibration? What is that? How are you going to go through that process? First thing you need to do is you really need to look at what is the contrast that's showing up? Is it having to do with your spouse? Is it having to do with your kids? What is there that hasn't been healed? This is a huge opportunity, really a huge opportunity that you're home with your family and friends, family mostly, and can take the time to do the healing work. So take stock. What's showing up in your life that um, is, a com is a contrast? What's the contrast that's coming up from all of this, you know, COVID stuff? What is it? Is it with your spouse? Is it with your kids? Maybe it's a financial contrast that's popping up. So what contrast is there? And then you're going to take a look at that contrast and you're going to have to work through it. You're going to have to figure out why it's there. What's coming up in you? Where are you feeling those issues in your body? What does it look like for you to have that solve and begin to focus on the healing process of it and, and the solution to the problem? And use this time. If you're home with your spouse and you're seeing issues coming up with your spouse, use this time constructively, not yelling at each other and stuff, but use it constructively so that you can see this as an opportunity for growth because that's exactly what it is. And it looks like I am, it looks like my video is no longer playing. I don't know if you guys can see me, but I don't believe I'm still here. So I'm going to sign off and uh, we'll see what happens there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, thank you, Candy. I don't know if you guys can still see me though, because it says it's not playing, but I'll wrap it up this way. So find what is, is showing up as contrast for you. Take that contrast, use it as an opportunity for growth, use it as an opportunity to be a better spiritual leader and think about it. Whatever this opportunity is that's happened for you, you can then take that opportunity and that's what you'll be teaching. Remember, you're here to teach. If you guys aren't serving right now, I don't know what you're doing. So you're going to be able to use this experience and this opportunity to take that contrast, learn from it, and then go ahead and teach that. Thank you, Diana, for letting me know I'm still here because it tells me I'm not. But <laughs> so, so use this as an opportunity and then take that learning that bring in your 5D vibration, right? Of what is showing up in your 3D reality. Bring in that 5D re uh, uh, vibration heal what's there, seeing that contrast, work through it with your family and your spouse and your kids and everything that's showing up and use it to grow and use it to share and use it to teach because that's what we're all here. So guys, I'm going to sign off on that note because I'm still not entirely sure, although Candy says she can see me too. So you guys have a fantastic day. Use this opportunity. We need light workers more now than ever. And on Wednesday, I have a huge surprise that my new book, uh, Chaos, A Wake Up Call for Lightworkers is launching on Wednesday. So you're going to see that. I'm going to ask for your support because that message has to get out in mass.
this message in this book has to get out there. It's about the chaos that we're going through and how do we use it to teach and how to serve. So I'm going to be looking for you guys to um, help and let's see. And look at this. We got little messages in here. Fantastic. All right, guys. So you guys have a beautiful day. I look for your support on Wednesday and I'll see you in the next video.